second graders today is thursday april 30th 2020 we are on day four in your packet and your specials are music so make sure you check out miss Irvin's website second graders it is a rainy day outside which means you should be able to do all of this work without any distraction today so i know you can do it and i can't wait to see your amazing work i do want to shout out real quickly that iari and Genesis and Antonio and Alejandra and Jasmine sent me a ton of great work yesterday and I am so proud of you. Um, please keep sending that work because it really shows how much your brain is growing and then you don't have to get any red marks on your progress reports, which is so great. Let's take a look today at what you'll be doing. So you'll watch your videos for math and reading and follow along in your packet. Then you'll send me a picture of all of your finished work, which is what will be graded. Please make sure to send me your wish wells, your answers to the questions of the day as well. Yesterday, only ERE sent it, and our morning meetings, though lovely with ERE's answers, could be so much better if all of you are sharing your answers with me. And then send me a picture of things that you are proud of, because we're gonna do a special morning meeting on Monday um, with all of the things that you are proud of at home. Yesterday's question of the day was, where is the coolest place you have ever been? And um, Iari said that he's been to Myrtle Beach. How cool is that? I wish that um, coronavirus would go away so we could all go to the beach because that would really make it better. But thank you, Iari, for sharing your answer. Today's question of the day is, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Ooh, tricky question. One superpower, what would it be? Maybe you'd be invisible. Maybe you could fly. Maybe you could freeze people. Maybe you could run super fast like Dash and the Incredibles. Would love to hear your answers. So please send them to me as soon as you can. Let's do some pretzel breathing. Remember for pretzel breathing, we pull our arms out and cross them over one another. And we inhale to pull them in. Exhale to push them out. Ooh, that's a good stretch. Do it again. Some job one more time. Ooh. I am feeling more relaxed already, and that was a really good stretch as well. Remember, you can use pretzel breathing whenever you need to de-stress your body. Um, yesterday, Iari wished well his friends. So for Iari's friends, we wish you well. Go ahead and put yourself in your heart. May I be happy. May I be safe. May I be well. And then put someone you care about in your heart. May you be happy. May you be safe. May you be well. Think about what you will do today um, to stay focused on your work, which commitment you will use. Choose your commitment, and then let's think about what we are doing today. Today in math, you're doing two more pages of your Eureka Math Fluency. You're gonna do day four, Unlock the Problem. Second graders, some of the work that I'm getting back for Unlock the Problem makes me think that maybe 
you're not the ones doing the work or you're not watching the YouTube videos because parents might not know exactly what to do, but you do. So it's really important that you're the one watching the YouTube videos and you're the one solving the work. You shouldn't be writing more than normal on your Unlock the Problems. Then you'll do your math worksheet and then you'll do 20 minutes of iReady lessons. Make sure you watch those YouTube videos on your own. You can do this. For reading, you're gonna answer the question, would you rather be an animal or a toy? You're going to listen from seed to plant on YouTube. You're going to fill in your plant observation sheet, complete your main idea worksheet, and then read independently for 20 minutes and do 20 minutes of your Lexia lessons. Good work, second graders. I am so proud of you. I love you. I miss you. I wish you well. Have a happy Thursday.